The petrodollar agreement between the United States and Saudi Arabia, which has been in place since 1974, has recently been the subject of much speculation and debate. The agreement, which required Saudi Arabia to price its oil in dollars and invest the proceeds in U.S. treasuries, has been seen as a key component of the U.S. dollar status as the global reserve currency. However, recent reports suggest that the agreement has expired and will not be renewed, potentially leading to a significant shift in the global financial landscape. The petrodollar agreement was initially established in the aftermath of the 1973 oil crisis, when the United States and Saudi Arabia signed a secret deal to ensure the continued dominance of the U.S. dollar in international trade. Under this agreement, Saudi Arabia agreed to price its oil in dollars and invest the proceeds in U.S. treasuries, effectively creating a captive market for U.S. government debt. This arrangement helped to cement the dollar status as the global reserve currency, allowing the United States to maintain a regime of perpetual war and financial dominance over much of the world. However, in recent years, the petrodollar agreement has been facing significant challenges. Saudi Arabia has been reducing its holdings of U.S. treasuries, and the kingdom has been exploring alternative currencies for its oil sales. In 2023, Saudi Arabia announced that it was considering pricing its oil in other currencies, including the Chinese yuan. This move, if implemented, would significantly undermine the petrodollar agreement and potentially lead to a decline in the U.S. dollar status as the global reserve currency. The expiration of the petrodollar agreement has significant implications for the global financial system. Without the agreement, the U.S. dollar's dominance in international trade is likely to decline, potentially leading to a shift towards other currencies such as the Chinese yuan. This could have significant consequences for the U.S. economy, as the dollar's status as the global reserve currency has been a key component of the country's financial dominance. In response to the potential decline of the U.S. dollar, the U.S. Federal Reserve has issued an ultimatum to global banks, demanding that they maintain their dollar holdings and continue to use the dollar for international transactions. The ultimatum, issued by Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen, is seen as an attempt to maintain the dollar's dominance in international trade and prevent a shift towards other currencies. However, the ultimatum has been met with resistance from some global banks, which have expressed concerns about the potential risks associated with maintaining large holdings of U.S. dollars. The banks argue that the dollar's value is likely to decline in the long term, making it a less attractive store of value. They also point out that the dollar's dominance in international trade is not as secure as it once was, given the growing use of other currencies such as the yuan. The expiration of the petrodollar agreement and the ultimatum issued by the Federal Reserve have significant implications for the global financial system. The shift towards other currencies such as the yuan could lead to a decline in the U.S. dollar status as the global reserve currency, potentially leading to a significant shift in the global financial landscape.